What's up guys, David here, and the 2017 smartphone season is officially underway. I'm excited to bring you guys more videos. Thumbs up if you are excited too. Today we have a speed test between the first flagship smartphone of the year from HTC and the U Ultra, going head to head with the current phone book style speed test champ in the iPhone 7 Plus. Now, the U Ultra is an interesting phone from HTC. It's not quite what I was expecting from them, and to be honest, the spec sheet isn't all that impressive, especially given its $700 plus price tag. But then again, if you look at the iPhone 7 Plus spec sheet, its specs aren't mind blowing either, but yet it remains the fastest smartphone in the world. So the question is, did HTC optimize the U Ultra enough to actually change that? Or at the very least, keep up with the iPhone? Let's find out. But before we get into it, I want to give a quick shout out to Full Sail University for sponsoring today's episode. Full Sail offers technology degree programs both on campus and online to help you build a skill set for the tech industry. Learn more at the link below. All right, we'll kick things off by starting the stopwatches on each phone and then immediately taking a selfie where the U Ultra's faster camera launch puts it ahead early on in the speed test as it moves on to the second row with the iPhone just a half step behind. But as we've seen time and time again, while the quicker animations on Android phones help give them an edge in the lightweight applications, the iPhone's faster storage and A10 processor make up for it in the heavier applications like Photoshop and Lapsit, where the iPhone 7 actually takes the lead, processing that time lapse like it was nothing, having already moved on to the gaming row. However, the Snapdragon 821 under the hood of the U Ultra has proven that it's no slouch either, with it completing the time lapse fairly quickly, pushing the U Ultra onto the gaming row where it'll try to cut down on the iPhone's lead. But the iPhone is once again proving why it's the undefeated Pombo style speed test champ, just blazing through all these heavy duty games as if they were lightweight applications, with it now two full apps ahead. So the chance of seeing it come back by the HTC are getting slimmer and slimmer, and I do have to say that the U Ultra is looking a bit slower here in the first lap compared to some of the other Snapdragon 821 phones we've tested, like the Pixel XL for example. But who knows, we do still have a few apps left to go in the first lap, with the whole set second lap ahead, where historically, HTC has done a pretty good job at managing its RAM. But unfortunately for the U Ultra, so has the iPhone, with it now going through the second lap after finishing the first with a time of 1 minute and 17 seconds. And just as we've seen in previous speed tests, the iPhone is having no issues keeping the apps open in the background, with us pausing on each app to make sure that the app is actually open, as sometimes iOS shows you a screenshot of the last saved state, but yes, all the apps are actually open, with the iPhone racing to the finish line and looking to lap the U Ultra, and it does, finishing with a total time of 1 minute and 49 seconds. With the U Ultra still working on loading both the mobile and the full versions of the Amazon website, finishing the first lap 10 seconds after the iPhone finished both laps with a time of 1 minute and 59 seconds. So we'll go ahead and fast forward the HTC to the finish line, where unfortunately its 4GB of RAM proved to be insufficient as it struggled to keep all the apps open, having to reload almost every single app outside of Photoshop, Lapsit, and Subway Surfer surprisingly, with it completing the test over a minute after the iPhone with a total time of 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Making the winner, and still Fumble style speed test champ, the iPhone 7 Plus. Now, before we take a look at the individual app load up times, I want to give a shout out to Full Sail University for sponsoring today's video. Innovations in technology are constantly changing our lives on both a professional and on a personal level. So if you're into the latest tech and how it's changing the world around you, check out Full Sail University. Located just outside of Orlando, Florida, Full Sail has spent 30 years developing degree programs that help you build a skill set to work in the tech industry. Full Sail's simulation and visualization degree program was designed to create future engineers who will develop the systems for the 21st century, from creating computerized models for understanding complex data, to developing virtual environments for gaming. Or if you're interested in how data is transmitted and stored, check out the Cloud Technologies degree program, where you can study architecture, information storage, and systems administration, then implement these concepts through comprehensive hands-on projects. All of Full Sail's web and tech programs are designed specifically to adapt as new methods and applications unfold, allowing students to remain relevant and informed throughout their entire academic journey. To learn more about these programs and all of Full Sail's other technology degree programs, visit fullsail.edu slash 
foam buff. All right, so here are the individual app load up times from the first lap as promised. But aside from that, that is it for me in this video. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.